Hi friends and fellow earth angels, it's Gladys and welcome back to another one of my weekly Sunday card readings and this spread will start by covering June 19th through the 25th or whenever you're guided to watch as I always intend these to be timeless readings meaning whenever this video shows up for you that is the time that the messages are meant for you. So welcome friends. We've got some really awesome intense energy <laughs> that we're in. We just entered the full moon energy in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a fun energy. It's an energy like that likes to learn. Uh, it's the archer energy. So if you're feeling like you're getting that urge to be social or wanting to connect or wanting to gather, do fun things. Uh, this is the time to do it. I have to say, I went to the movies for the first time. Uh, maybe it was a week ago now, and I hadn't been in years, and I had to see Top Gun. <laughs> so if you haven't seen it and you are a Top Gun uh, 80s fan, <laughs> I would highly recommend it. It was incredibly exciting. Well, I thought it was incredibly thrilling, exciting, and uh, it was worth the time in the movie theater as it is rather long. So it was just fun to really start embracing that Sagittarius full moon energy and feeling playful and feeling energetic. Now I do also have to say we have the planet Saturn in retrograde and Saturn is the planet I feel of hard work. It's like not going to let you cut corners or cheat and uh, this full moon in Sagittarius is a great time for you to reflect on how far you've come. Almost like maybe a year in review to see where you're at and I know that there's a lot of people out there who are making plans and uh, very creative. Uh, what's super fun is, well, this is my, my birthday week, so uh, the sun is shifting from Gemini into Cancer. And as you know, Cancer, I'm my moon child through and through. So uh, this is a really uh, intense time of year for me. And I feel like the Sagittarius full moon that we're in right now is a really great time for releasing anything that's not working or didn't work. I think I've mentioned in the last video that I'm making adjustments personally. Uh, one of the things, one of the, the themes of my life is balance and trying to find balance in the work that I do and staying true to myself and working on projects that are really exciting and thrilling and passionate for me and because of that I have a tendency to recluse and go within. So I am trying to stay consistent with these videos absolutely and I appreciate you checking in and liking and subscribing. My intention is to be on every single week uh, because I'm making adjustments. I'm just not sure how the energy is going to play out so I'm not a person who likes to renege on commitment so I have a tendency to not do things or start things if I can't commit to it. So I'm kind of in this funky space, but it's it's really great. And the energies of the moon and the sun in my in my chart shining so brightly is really working and shining a light on a, a lot of really cool stuff. So uh, if you're in that space and you're the Saturn energy is bringing up doubts and confidence, and this is an energy the Sagittarius full moon is is also activating masculine energy. So this would also be a really great time for you to work with any uh, or resolve any masculine energies in your life. If it is, let's say, if you're working in a lot of giving energy, this would be a good time to balance that with receiving. If you have any unresolved issues with 
uh, ma the male energy, men in your life, or your own inner masculine energy that could be out of alignment, this is a time to really look at it and face it. And I have to say, friends, you really don't have to go digging. You know, my inquiry question is, God, show me, <laughs> shine a light on what I need to know. And I can tell you, friends, it becomes a very clear, real fast. Uh, and, and, and I think it's important for me to be honest about the journey that I'm on, you know, I'm an incredibly feeling person. Uh, as a quadruple cancer, I experience the intensity of emotions. And I'm really working on self-healing, self-discovery, so that I can empower others in healthy ways to navigate the emotional sensitive energy that they have and really embrace the gifts of those sensitivities and those uh, qualities that you have as earth angels. So because of that, <laughs> I've had some stuff that have come up with insecurities and doubts and wondering what I'm doing. I feel like I'm at a crossroads and, you know, we're just coming out of a massive change and I know many of us are still feeling a little tired. We're still feeling adjusted, getting adjusted and just navigating this new energy that we're in. So we're mid-year friends, right? So again, checking in with yourself this, this week and seeing how far you've come. Kind of loosen the collar a little bit. Go easy on yourself. I, I've always said that I'm so grateful for the support system that I have in my life that keeps me grounded, keeps me focused, and keeps me enjoying life. So I pray and wish for that uh, for you too. So this week I'm going to work with the goddess energy again because there's a lot of masculine energy uh, I know I have a lot of masculine energy strong in my chart right now so I feel like it's always wonderful to tap into that divine feminine energy so I will be starting with pulling a guide for the week from the goddess guidance oracle cards a message of healing will come from the moonology oracle cards <clears throat> action steps to take this week so this is a new deck I have the magic of unicorns I've been really excited to use it I've been using it myself and the card I have pulled the same card a few times and I just knew I couldn't wait to present this and do a reading with these cards so if you haven't seen them yet they are so pretty so action steps this week will come from the magic of unicorns card deck and then what you're being gifted with this week will come from the queen of the moon oracle cards and then i will finish with an overall message of love and affirmation that can support you this week from the soulful woman and the reason why i share the cards with you is so that if you have these decks you can then go into your decks into the books and read more I really encourage you with these readings to pause it after the spread is out and just take a moment to see where your heart navigates towards asking the angels, asking the divine, asking the goddesses, where should I begin? What do I need to know about this spread? I mean, you're here for a reason. So you may not get an answer right away, but more will come throughout the days and the weeks ahead. So it's really fun to be open and receptive to how the divine can support you. And that's why I like to start every card reading with a guide so that you can start getting familiar with working with different energies. You know, I really love... Uh, uh, the interfaith principles. I work with many different philosophies and religions and spiritual information and insights. And uh, it really is powerful when you are creating in your life to have a team <laughs> of light beings working with you. So that's why I try to share these different guides with you. You may resonate with the goddesses, you might re resonate with the animals, you might resonate with the angels, or of the ascended masters or all of the above so i love that you're here 
curious and open and receptive. So let me open space for us. Let me invite in all your guardian angels and guides, the archangels, the ascended masters, the divine mother and father, and all their holy beings of light that would like to assist with this guidance for you this week. And I'm going to ask that any healing that comes through, messages that come through, be for your best and highest good and the best and highest good of all concerned. All right, goddesses, what is the most important message that we need to hear, see, feel, and know? I'm going to connect my heart to the heart of the goddesses. What goddess wants to come forth? The most important message we need to hear, see, feel, and know this week. And again, as you know, I just shuffle them and wait for one to pop out like that. You see? Here we go. Bridget, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. Wow. I feel this card so strongly. You see how she's got the fire, the passion in her hands. So again, you know, a lot of times what I feel I typically experience before the rest of the collective, uh, because I am a teacher, because I'm a support system, I find it's a wonderful way for me to be able to support others in the next few months. So I have to say, if you have fast forwarded in my intro, I had mentioned that personally I have been challenged with confidence in where I'm going and what it is what it is that I want to do with the work that I'm doing. It's it's really important to me that I stay true to the essence of the energy I work with. And it, it is so easy, friends, to get pulled off course. It's so easy to be inundated with outside influences. You know, the spiritual community can be really messy because people are awakening. They are going through dark nights of the soul. They are navigating purpose. So it can be really crunchy. <laughs> it can be really sticky and hazy. And I've seen it over the years, and that's that's part of it. That's part of growth. That's part of, you know, you got to break things down before you got to build it up. And I'm in one of those places right now. So if you are in that place, or you are in a place like, if what you had been doing isn't necessarily working for you, maybe in your health care, maybe your care of self, maybe in your education and learning, maybe you want to try new things, or maybe you want to learn new things. Maybe it's even in your relationships. There's so many changes that are happening with romantic partnerships. Remember, we are in a six universal year this year. So we're redefining what home and family and community and friendship and we're doing a lot of inner healing and working with creative energy. And I feel like Bridget is coming forth this week to remind you about how far you've come that there is a a light at the end of the tunnel and I feel like I'm I'm in that place and I'm sharing this with you because many, maybe you're feeling this way too uh, and it can support you is I don't know where I'm going. I don't know. I have a lot of ideas. There's a lot of things happening, a lot of changes in my life, which is all wonderful and good and, and on top of it, I am really being conscious that I'm staying true to my core values and what's important to me and the essence of what I've created, right? So maybe you're in that place where things are feeling sticky. Maybe you're they're feeling like you've been working so hard and the idea of continuing to work quote unquote hard is exhausting and overwhelming. I know personally when I am in that space, I need a break. I need to take a time out. You know, I the work that I do is a, a full time practice. So Sometimes I need to turn up some rock and roll music and really ground myself and get into the fun of the 3D world <laughs> to really come back to feel alive. So a lot of you earth angels, it, 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 you, we can get, we can have too much 
spiritual information coming towards us <laughs> or we can overdose on all the spiritual information that's out there and it can get really confusing. So if you are in that place, again, taking a break <laughs> and then being able to check in this week and saying, okay, what is important to you? What matters? What helps you thrive and feel alive? And sometimes getting back with old friends that you haven't heard from for a while or, you know, taking a random road trip and going on a hike somewhere or just sitting outside in the backyard if you haven't done that for a long time. Just switching things up can give you more clarity. So this is a powerful message this week. I feel like she's saying if things are getting sticky, hazy, unclear, there, there's still work, you know, to be done. I just feeling like the goat energy with uh, the taking one step at a time and climbing the mountain. If you've been in that space, Bridget is encouraging you here. Stand up for what you believe is right. And this doesn't necessarily mean we have to fight. <laughs> this doesn't mean we necessarily have to make sure everybody's on board. We're talking about stand up for what you believe is right as a way of being. So it, like I said, it's easy to be influenced and persuaded if we're not in one way or another, if we're not grounded and present, right? And this is why when things get uncomfortable, it's like, wait a minute, this is out of something's not right here. Again, it doesn't mean it's bad or wrong. It means something is out of alignment with the essence of who you are. And so many of you have been working on your identity. You've been working on the who am I? You've been working on the why am I doing this and where am I going? And I just, I just want to feel like, I feel like I just want to encourage you to have some fun this week if you can right that's kind of how we we feel alive in a sense of this is why I'm here this is why I'm on earth so again instead of getting more into that fighting and action and masculine energy how can you maybe laugh and play and sing and dance this year again I'm feeling different threads here of information it's almost a little fragmented so I feel like I'm touching on multiple avenues so again take in what resonates and leave the rest the whole thing may not may not resonate with you and that's that's okay that's that's you know it's meant to reach many people and touch the hearts of many different people and I just feel like there are so many of you and just in different stages you know all right let's see here Bridget what what message of healing do you have for the earth angels this week? Goddess Bridget, what message of healing do you have for the earth angels this week? Oh, what do you need to release? The waning moon. So we are in the energy of the full moon right now. So if you need to release worries, fears, doubts, a situation, I feel like it's like, okay, this is great, but how? <laughs> and so being able to maybe write down challenges, like I said, I've had some insecurities, I've been struggling with confidence a little bit. I had a situation that just was a little sticky and I just had doubts creeped in, creep in. And you know, it doesn't matter how long you've been doing something, a craft, an art, a job, there are still things that can creep in and there's still influence that wants to pull you off course. You know, your job is an earth angel in the... Uh, in the, in the famous words, <laughs> I don't know if it's famous words, but Jennifer Lopez said, I want to, I want to share. She had said this and it really inspired me that, you know, her, she feels her, her role is to bring light to injustice, right? And again, I felt like the divine was channeling through her and those words touched me, you know, and again, I'm not necessarily, I don't want to idolize anybody or put them on pedestals, but I believe the divine talks through people who have a public pr platform, right? And remember, they're human too. But she had said, I want to bring light to injustice. I want to shine light on injustice. And it just really got me I'm like yes 
that's who I want to be. Again, I've been struggling with who am I? <laughs> what am I doing? Where are my gifts? Well, you know, where where do I fit in this spiritual community of so many dynamics and it's so versatile. And so when she said that, I was like, yes. And then and then again, to what do I need to release that? I needed to move through the fears. I needed to face them. I needed to talk them out. And then saying, okay, God, show me how I may bring light to injustice in a healthy, empowered, strong way. And so I'm on course. <laughs> we'll see how that, that unfolds. So again, being able to just sit down with your fears, like what's coming up for you. It could be money. You know, money is a thing for many people. It could be pain in your body. It could be an illness that you're going through. And sometimes just shifting it and saying, what am I learning from this? How is this teaching me? And it's a beautiful way to find courage in the face of fear and the influence or the ego that's coming up, right? That wants to keep you small, that wants to get in there and have you change courses or give up or quit. And I have to say for some of you, if you are in that place where you're tired and you've been doing all the things and you feel like you're not getting anywhere, you haven't had the breakthrough or you're not seeing the results, Slow your roll a little bit, but I encourage you, don't give up. Don't stop doing what you're doing. And I don't like to tell people what to do. So let me rephrase that. It would be really important for you to continue doing what you're doing. (laughs) And again, if you're tired, just being able to slow down a little bit and ask God if there's another way. God, show me truth. Show me, is there another way to this or, or through this? Or if you're challenged with something like anxiety or you're challenged with a, a sugar addiction or you're challenged with a coworker, how can you pull back and ask God to show you how to navigate this experience in a different way? right? And then being able to release old ways of doing things, being able to release your role in it, right? We are, we're all have to take ownership because, you know, what, what, what is, what's the saying? As above, so below, as within, so without, right? So whatever we're experiencing externally is, is a touch of what, what we could also be going, what could also be going on within us as well. So taking pause early on this week or when you are finished with this video, whenever you watch it, check in and what fears, what anxieties, what what in the mind can you release and just purge it out of your body? Beautiful things that people do is they write it down on toilet paper and they flush it if you cannot burn something uh, wherever you live. People have fire pits outside and they'll write it down on a piece of paper. There's really cool wish paper out there now and uh, it burns really easily. But again, of course, I always encourage people to be safe with it or you can talk it out. You know, there's a lot of times I have conversations with God (laughs) at night and I literally just talk it out. I get really, I get really petulant (laughs) I really get really spoiled I get really it's not fair I'm over it I quit like I really just get raw with God (laughs) because I know God's not going to punish me I know that it is just my own ego that I'm just getting out and uh, I always have clarity with that and I've been really teary and emotional so Again, because I am going into the sun in Cancer and I have so much water in my chart. And for me, I find it's a beautiful way to break through the shell of ego that builds up over time, right? And so I hope, I know this is, it seems like I'm really talking about my personal stuff this week, uh, but maybe maybe this is helpful. Maybe this is supportive if you're feeling that way. 
uh, you know that you're you're not alone that we're all experiencing the intensity of the energy on this planet and we can have so much fun I've been doing some late night walks I'm very blessed to live in a neighborhood where I can go for walks and get outside it's so wonderful to be able to walk outside at night in the light of the moon I don't go out on my own uh, I do go <laughs> uh, I do partner up so I'm not out at night walking in the streets alone uh that's just a personal preference if you can do that great for you obviously we want to all be safe out there but i am finding ways to create space from all the energies that are coming out in the world right now so all right let me just keep going i'm just talking forever here uh let's see okay the new deck magic of unicorns all right bridget what action steps can earth angels take this week this is such a beautiful deck, friends. Uh, if you have it, let me know. Either, you know, maybe give me a thumbs up or put like a purple heart in the comments below. Or you could actually, if you do have this deck or you're liking the deck, you can put a unicorn <laughs> in the comments below. That would be fun too. Uh, interaction does help my channel, of course. And I like to kind of make it fun and easy. So if you like this deck um, <laughs> and the cards that I pull, I'll show you when I'm, I pull the card. Uh, you know, just give me a, a unicorn maybe in the <clears throat> comments if you want. All right, Bridget, action steps to support you this week. Uh, let's see. Um, well, there's three. So I, I'm just going to take them. So the first one we have, look for the signs. Card number 11. It's so beautiful. Look at this. Aren't they so fun? I got these cards for my cousin and her daughters. She's got two preteen daughters and they're very new to anything spiritual and she would show me and cousin would show me these cards and the cards that she pulled and I just fell in love with them and you know, I'm really trying not to buy more decks but I had to get this deck for a good reason right look for the signs pay attention expect an answer <laughs> see so I've been talking I've been sharing a lot of messages about in inquiring asking God asking the goddess Bridget asking the divine what do I need to release? What am I not seeing? What could be the next sto step for me? I'm, I'm ready to receive doors of opportunities. How can I look at things in a different way? And remember, that's where you pause. That's where you create an energy of silence and listen, right? If your attention is in your mind upstairs, that's not where you want to be uh, because you're just going to go back to the past on things that might have already been tried and, and done and maybe didn't work out or what other people have done. And that's in the past, right? And the future is still unknown. So if you can drop down from your head into your heart mind right bringing your attention right down to your chest even bringing your hand over your heart to remind you feeling the breath that's where you need to be when you are open to receiving insight and guidance in the heart mind I know it's challenging but working with the energy of presence just being aware of what's going on around you, what you're hearing, what you're seeing, what you're feeling in the present moment, especially when you're triggered or especially when you're going into that panic mode or that fear mode, being able to take a deep breath and just come back to the present moment. And in those moments when I do do that, I call on the Holy Spirit and I ask for the Holy Spirit to show me uh, what I need to know. But again, look for the signs. The signs only come in the present moment. Maybe it's initials on a license plate from a loved one. Maybe it is their birthday or anniversary numbers. Maybe it is the angel number. Maybe you'll see the fours or the ones. Number 11 comes up. 11 is the energy of new beginnings, right? One plus one equals two. Two for me is a balance number. Uh, we've got two, two, two. We got 2022 this year. So we're, we're really working in those energies and really when I see them, it just is a reminder that we're not alone, that the divine is here with us. And sometimes things need space 
and time to unfold. So additional cards that came out, action steps, unicorn portal, 38. Oh my gosh, three plus eight equals 11. <laughs> Here we go. I'm telling you, these cards are so awesome. So that's what that looks like. And the action step for this, it says focus your light, listen for a message. So I feel like the divine is saying, if you have gotten caught up in the mind and it happens so often because we're human and you're trying to problem solve us and figure it all out on your own and make things happen and you're exhausted release the need to do it all on your own open up to receive universal support right we all get caught up into it remember we're living a, a very human experience on this on this planet while being conscious and aware <laughs> and present with all the feelings, right? All the emotional energy. So the unicorn energy is reminding you to focus on your light. Listen for a message. Again, we were just talking about being in the heart mind and it's that voice within that's loving and nurturing and encouraging. But I have to say the divine does not bring messages that are fluffy. They are quick and to the point. They are persistent and consistent. So if you have a book that keeps showing up in your life, if you have a number that keeps showing up in your life saying thank you, or show me more, I got it. What does this mean? You know, we're, we're bypassing the unconscious seeing is believing energy we can no longer continue to exist in that energy <clears throat> especially those working with the feminine energy of intuition and feeling and connection and receptivity and wisdom that is beyond the 3d world and so we're navigating it but remember the more light you take in the more that's not a vibrational match of that. And when I say light, I mean capital light, capital love, capital light. When you take in that unconditional love, when you get clarity, when you get hits, when you got aha moments, when you feel exhilarated and you feel energetically abundant, you are expanding your aura, your energy, your power. And then what happens is anything that's not a vibrational match needs to come up and out. So we have to have patience moving through these experiences of challenge, adversity, emotions, tears. I always try to remind myself that it's only temporary. And if I'm going to be a petulant child, then I'm going to do it. I'm going to get it over with and I'm going to wake up the next day and I'm going to move forward. <laughs> so sometimes we just got to get it out, right? I did. I, I, I told Nick the other day, like, listen, I'm going to say a bunch of stuff. I said, probably whatever you tell me, <laughs> uh, it, it probably isn't going to get in there I said but I just want to let you know this is the space that I'm in and I have to say he was wonderful with uh, supporting that energy that was coming up and out so it really is lovely to have somebody in your life whether it be a friend a parent a grandparent a sister a cousin a brother a mentor a guide of sorts in the physical that you can bounce things off of and I think that's one of the big messages here or at least the needs to do it for your but on your own you know you're going places so in adversity and challenges how do you lean into it and create that courage right to to learn and grow look for the signs the signs are there for you continue to focus on the light and what you believe in and what matters to you and then final message here is a uh, spiritual warrior card number 37 show you are a wise leader don't back down command the universe and with this i always say co-create look we have the lion and the lamb we can both be fierce and gentle this is such an embodiment of the masculine and feminine energy here right it's so beautiful that we can embody these energies and still feel powerful that's awesome that is so awesome i'm telling you these are awesome cards let me just give you like a little peek at them a, a little brief peek how beautiful are these huh so again, if you get them or you have them or you love them, <laughs> just give me a little unicorn emoji down in the, look how beautiful 
down in the comments below. It also helps my channel, so I appreciate it very much. Anyway, they're beautiful. All right, let's get to what you're being gifted with this week. All that to say, you are being gifted with what, Bridget? What are the Earth Angels being gifted with this week? What's the most important message they need to hear, see, feel, and know about what they're being gifted with? Let's see here. Let's go with this one. The unexpected, a blue moon. And it's awesome too because it's card number 43, four plus three equals seven. And that is an inner, an inner number. So expect the unexpected. Again, inquiry questions of what am I seeing that I'm not seeing? What do I need to know that I'm not seeing? Or how can I move through this in a different way? Or what doors of opportunities can you open for me is this the right thing remember we don't have to say yes to every opportunity uh, when we're creating when we're aligning when we're making adjustments it's all a learning experience so again maybe the unexpected is the signs maybe the unexpected is something not working out that you thought would work out and i feel like the divine is saying bridget is saying that's okay that you know one of my one of the self talk what is it it's not an affirmation but one of the positive healthy self talk statements that i say to myself and i've been saying this for a really long time is God doesn't take anything away unless he's going to replace it with something even better. My life has had uh, so much change and <laughs> things come and go all the time. And I know it's good because I'm growing. And the more I want, the more things need to shift and change. Or the more that I desire, the more passion I have, the more willingness I am to take a leap and make adjustments and expand my reach. Uh, things change and so if you're in that space uh, or you're in a stagnant place and it's like gosh you know when is this going to be over and done or there's challenge uh, check in with the divine and ask them is there something I need to know I really keep feeling the energy of listening listening pausing in silence and nothingness this week when you're in the space of challenge and adversity, go to those things when that energy comes up, when you feel fear, when you feel like you're at a crossroads, you're not sure where you're going. I, I, I feel like uh, uh, until then, live your life, have fun, get outside. I know people are opening up their pools here in New England. People are planning mini road trips and going on hikes and getting outside, socializing. If you feel comfortable doing that, friends are coming out of the woodwork and getting excited about it being together again. Uh, I think I've mentioned in other videos, I'm teaching classes again this summer. So July, I have a Reiki one and two training. Uh, I think there are maybe like one or two spots left in that. And then I have a IET integrated energy therapy training in August, which is all about releasing suppressed emotions in your body. So IET teaches a trigger point like technique to release the suppressed emotions in your body. So it's great for individuals who are doing deep inner healing work. And it's a great marriage between doing the inner work and going going to use body work and energy work to facilitate that change and facilitate those releases. Uh, the IET is a modality that I use in almost every single one of my sessions, whether it's the practice working with clients or the information I learned. So I believe there might be two or three spots left in that. I'm not, I'm not having big classes. So if you're interested and money is a thing, just reach out to me and let me know. We could do some payment plans or uh, make some adjustments or I could hold the spot for you if you are serious and, and interested. Uh, you can either take the first level or you could take the first and second level together on both the Reiki and the IET classes. So I, to be honest, <laughs> I don't know how much more I'm going to be teaching. Uh, I, I love teaching, uh, but I'm now training 
master teachers to teach. (laughs) And I feel like the training work that I've done for so many years has run its course. Although I love teaching, I just, I don't want to do it all. (laughs) And so I have... uh, I've trained three new Reiki master teachers. I I trained them in May and I'm looking forward to sharing them (laughs) and looking forward to the way they teach, teach the trainings. So I think that's, again, a crossroads that I'm at. So if you do want to take these classes, again, that's not like, oh, I'm never going to do it again, but... Um, it's probably not going to be something that's going to come back for a while. So (laughs) I should put that out there if you're thinking about taking classes, um, as I think those will be adjusting in the near future. So let me finish here with an overall message of love from the Soulful Woman Oracle card decks. This is an affirmation for the week. So if you need an energy, an affirmation, a statement to ground you, that's the intention for these cards. So Bridget, what affirmation, what message can, or do you want to bless and gift the earth angels this week? What message of love that can ground them this week? Things get... Wavy. <laughs> All right. Let's go with this one. Princess Charming. <laughs> I love it. I think we have two. No, we don't. We have, oh my gosh, friends, we have 37, 38, 39. Wow, that's so cool. So the message here says I take the horse by the reins. And become my own princess charming, taking care of my own needs. I love this, right? So if you've needed to make some adjustments, and, and you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling that masculine energy that is coming up in this Sagittarius full moon. And I want to kind of broaden this because I don't want to pigeonhole it just to princess being feminine. Um I, I, I want to k- k- kind of adjust it in a sense where I take the horse by the reins and become my own first love, right? We're really working the energy of care of self, love of self. And I want to expand it on not necessarily just a partner, right? When we talk about Prince Charming, Princess Charming, we're talking about like romantic partner. A lot of times Earth Angels have a tendency to put people above and before them maybe you do a lot for your co-workers or you're putting in a lot of time and energy in your work and maybe you're not necessarily feeling appreciated or getting the attention or the support you know maybe you are in a space where you have children who are in need and you're putting everybody ahead of your own needs this would be a really great week to check in to take care of your own needs right care of self love of self and a lot of times that is nothingness I know there's a lot to get done and there'll always be stuff to get done but I have found that wonderful amazing blessings happen when I'm doing nothing And I was raised (laughs) with the philosophy, if you're doing nothing, you're being lazy. And I know there are a lot of personal development influencers out there who are big advocates for go, 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 do, 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 action, action, action. And honestly, I see a lot of resentful, angry unsatisfied people out there with that mentality and I'm not saying it doesn't work for some people but with earth angels it burns them out real fast so I personally have been really working on being the guinea pig of everything I'm saying (laughs) doing it and making it work and then eventually being able to share that and 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 my own practice and my own uh, techniques and all of that so and I know so many of you are working on that yourself and you'll teach that to your community your friends your family your connections and it's all about doing the inner work right 
So care of self, love of self, putting the love of self first, right? You are your first love. I mean, I, as you know, I'm a woman of faith. I'm very strong in working with the divine is imperative to <laughs> to keep growing on this planet uh, at the capacity of being in love and peace. So in my chart, it goes God, me, and then everyone and everything else. And so when you have the divine and you're checking in with the divine first, the divine and God will send you people, places, things, and ideas that are in accord, in accord, in alignment with the essence of your true self, your, your, in, in, at the heart of your, your gifts. So if things have gotten chaotic and you've gotten caught up, this might be a time for a good pause or a break. And remember this week about the love of self, right? And there's so much value in the energy of silence and nothingness and being fully present. And that takes time, right? It's a practice for a reason. All right. Well, I think I've said all that. I want to say about these cards again this would be a good read time to pause I do see the number 33 here again th- 3 plus 3 equals 6 again we're working with home and family and community relationships so if that's all coming up for you this week it's all good all right let me close space for us and close space for us. So let me thank all your guardian angels and guides, the archangels, the ascended masters, the divine mother and father, and all their holy beings of light that assisted with this guidance, especially Bridget and the unicorn energy. And I'm going to ask that any healing that was started continue for as long as it needs to be done. And so it is. So I have a quick announcement. So a while back, uh, a couple months ago, I had recorded an Archangel bedtime meditation. And I sent it out to those that were on my newsletter. And for the most part, it got great reviews. I mean, it was my first one. I am really enjoying trying new things. (laughs) guess Uh, but it's out there now so I officially posted it on the insight timer app so I am a teacher on the insight timer website they have an app and if you go into your apps wherever you get your apps (laughs) on iOS or Android it is Insight Timer and it has a singing bowl as their icon. And if you want, it's a wonderful meditation app. There's a lot of free things that you can do on there. There's a lot of, you know, information that is really genuinely pure. I really, I really love the app. I believe in it. That's why I share my content there uh, and nowhere else really. And again, I'm making transitions in where I share content. So uh, if you do want to stick around, again, I honestly don't know how long I'll be on YouTube. Uh, So if you do want to stay connected, I highly recommend signing up for my email list. If you go to my website, GladysEllen.com and download the, I don't know, the 10 ways that you can ask the angels for assistance. It's kind of a fun little download. Uh, if anything, if you already know, it's just kind of a reminder of things and uh, then you'll be on my newsletter. Uh, I don't, I'm not, <laughs> I don't send out new e- emails out very often. Uh, you might get a little spurt here and there um, or it might be six months. So I am really not interested in sending out emails to people every week or all the time so but if I do have any announcements or I'm sharing new content or I'm sharing new things I will be sharing them with my email list so and and sharing what those things are Uh, if you want to like I said hear the bedtime archangel meditation you can go to insight timer and in the search button put bedtime archangel meditation you'll see it pop up it is a picture of a cloud sky like a blue sky with a feather 
Uh, so uh, if you do like it, it would be so wonderful if you could max out those stars for me. <laughs> it is helpful. It just helps more people see it. And I really appreciate your support, friends. I, I really do. I mean, it's a big part of what I value and treasure. And honestly, it, it keeps me going. <laughs> so thank you. Let me close space and, and finish up. <clears throat> Those links for those things that I've shared will be in the description box below. Uh, thank you so much for watching, being here, being present, and sharing. I love you for it. God loves you so much. Trust in the divine. Trust your intuition. And I send you love with heavenly hugs. Bye for now.